Hi DC fans, I'm Caitlin from the YouTube channel Catrin Figures, and I've been invited here today in order to review Wonder Woman issue 59. So jumping right back into where we left off in issue 58, we get to see the same kind of mysterious Olympus creatures that we saw earlier on, and they're being led by the same little boy that Diana saved earlier on from the soldiers and he's leading them to what is now a new Mount Olympus possibly and it's it's very shadowy it's very it's very concerning to these creatures because they're not sure is this a trap it looks like home only different wrong somehow and can they trust this little boy they don't really know but once we get up to the top of Mount Olympus, we see a number of other mythological creatures there. And we also get to see a wounded and imprisoned Steve Trevor. And jumping back into our story with our heroes, we get to see Diana and Ares. And Diana's wondering what exactly happened to Ares? Why is he stating that he's there to fight for justice now? Is this a real change? Can she really trust him? And just then we get to see a number of different air attacks happen. The first one being a missile attack, in which case both Ares and Diana get to the missile a bit too late and they have to decide where they're going to crash land it in. Diana of course sees a perfectly good field, an abandoned field where no one will die. But uh, Ares, he drops it on a small village and he then exclaims that it was a victory because he took down a tyrant's people using his own weapon. And of course, Diana, being Wonder Woman, decides that she's going to punish Ares for this, that he hasn't changed at all. And that she now wants to know what his true game is. And if he doesn't tell her the truth, then she will throw him on the burning pyre that now all of these people burn. So just then we get to see a number of fighter pilots coming through the area and Ares also attacks one of them. And Diana then jumps back into action, actually being able to save the pilot in time. And as she has her back turned, Ares attacks her and he states that she's given up on justice and if she is going to fight in order to protect those who are wrong, those evildoers, that she is going to die with them. So back with the uh, mysterious mythological creatures. Not really sure what's going on there yet, but they're talking about a possible Amazon with a golden whip. Steve Trevor, of course, knows that this has to be Diana. She has to be there to save him. And he takes full advantage of all of their fears and the confusion, and he attempts to escape. But uh, of course, when you're dealing with a bunch of griffins and nymphs and the like, you're going to be uh, taken down again, which is what happens. And when he's being dragged back up to Mount Olympus, they're telling him that it's now time for them to meet their leader. And he asks who he is. And he's told, what makes you think that their leader is a he. So I have a bunch of theories as to who this possible shadowy leader is. I don't really know 100% what's going on with this new Mount Olympus yet and what their end goal is there. I'm really excited to see more of the dynamic between both Diana and this new Ares and their fight between what is truly justice and what that really means. Because of course, Ares is seeing it more black and white. He sees this is a tyrant, these are a tyrants, this is the tyrant's people, and they lived within his rule. 
so clearly they must be wrong as well. He is going to kill them just as well. While Diana sees it, it's, it's a much more gray thing. These are citizens. They haven't picked up arms against her and they should be allowed to live. They should be safe, protected. So who's right? Who's wrong? We're going to see more of that going into the continued run. I'm really excited to see where G. Willow Wilson moves on moving forward with this. So yes, if you are so inclined, please do pick up your own copy of Wonder Woman issue 59. I really enjoyed it. I really loved the art throughout, especially some of the images of the griffin creature's face and all of the detail there. I really love that. But yes, please do pick it up at your local LCS or any of the number of possible retailers online. Also, if you are so inclined, please do check out my channel here on YouTube, Cat Run Figures. And until next time, bye.